Hey, Reese here with Adore Her Beauty back with another video. I wanted to do something different. I want to show you how the process looks from my point of view. So generally, I'm standing above my client. I'm looking down on them from the center, left and right of them. So this is the best way to get a great view. And I want you to see exactly how I see it. So in this video and with this particular session, I am using my own wax. It's Abrogate by Abolish. And look at how it grabs all of those stubborn hairs. The, the wax is very firm yet soft. It's not uncomfortable for the skin. And I call it the one snatch wax. But with this particular client, I did have to go over a lot of areas uh, within the safe number of times, of course. But this particular strip here, I did a reverse layer, as you saw. I went against the growth with the growth and pulled against the growth to get these little fine hairs. Now, if you look at her skin, if we could just take a quick assessment of her skin, it looks dry and the hairs look stubborn. I can just automatically tell that this is a person who tweezes. And I'm going to show you how you can tell. Do you see those little fine hairs? They're weak, yet the follicle itself is super strong. And this happens because when most people tweeze, they're just grabbing and pulling and hairs and breaking hairs off. They're not getting them from the root. So the root is really strong, whereas the shaft of the hair is very weak from the tweezers clipping, cutting, and breaking them off. And so even though I'm waxing over the hairs, and even though they are a pretty good length to where the wax can get the hairs, because the hairs are so fine, it's sliding through the wax. And therefore, this extra tweezing has to take place. And so that is what you see here. I'm just kind of going in and tweezing those hairs. And I have some pretty good tweezers. And as you can see, the hair is even eluding the tweezers because they're so thin and fragile yet the root is strong so here i'm going on the other side and i'm also again using that same technique to grasp the hairs and they come up pretty good you can see these are the adult strong hairs but again it leaves behind those little little firm almost invisible like hairs so I go again with another lay and I'm going uh, this time with the growth. And another thing also, the hairs are growing in all kinds of directions because they're tweezing in all kinds of directions. They're shaving in all kinds of directions. And so sometimes you have to do a multiple lay or a reverse lay technique to get those finer hairs. And here again... And we're almost done with the session. The session itself doesn't take long, but it is a process. Whereas it can be more quicker, it's a little bit more of a tussle to get a smooth result. And as you can see, I'm kind of feeling my way through to see which way the hairs are growing. You may have heard me mention hairs growing in a cross hatch direction. That's where they're growing left, right, up, down, all kinds of ways. And so I'm waxing accordingly to get those finer hairs. And I'm showing you every strip so that you can see how the wax is grabbing those hairs. But again, because they're super fine at the tips and the roots are strong because they've never really been removed from the root. I have to go in and manually tweeze those hairs. Now, most people will probably just let the client go ahead and just say, hey, you know what? Let's let these hairs grow out. And then you come back on your next visit, we'll get them. But I really like to give my clients a smooth, smooth finish. And most times with tweezers, I always want to say, I want to say tweezers, but people who tweeze. Most times with people who tweeze, they, when they feel a hair, they're going to grab their tweezers because it's some kind of compulsive reaction or something. I don't know. It's, it, you know, it's their thing. It's their vice. So they're going to grab those tweezers when they feel the hair because they don't want to be seen with hair. And I understand that. So I try my best to get the hairs to prevent them from tweezing in between their visits. But this was our result and she was happy, of course. 